Hi everyone, and welcome to the Corgi range announcement for May to August 2023, detailing all the new releases due to arrive in the next four months and revealing some new tool items that we're opening up for pre-orders. Let's get started with Aviation Archive, where we have eight new models to reveal. Beginning with the First World War era collection, we have two new releases, both from our recent new toolings. Both of these releases are in new and distinctive liveries. This Fokker Eindecker reproduces the aircraft that future ace Ernest Udit scored his first kill in and features some beautiful stencil work on the engine cowling. This Bristol FTB fighter replicates an aircraft that operated in Egypt near the Suez Canal, very far from the traditionally portrayed battlefields of the First World War. Moving on to Second World War aircraft, we have a pair of releases that are focused on the events of the Battle of Sicily, named Operation Husky by the Allies. Firstly, we have the second release of our new tool Supermarine Spitfire Mark IX. Reproducing the aircraft that legendary fighter ace Colin Gray piloted as he scored his final combat kills of the war, this model is a very different livery from the first release of this tooling. And for something a little different, I'm delighted to introduce an Italian model to the Aviation Archive range. This Messerschmitt BF109 G6 replicates the mount of Italian ace Antonio Visotto as flown during the Battle of Sicily, with a highly distinctive livery that features the German markings painted over. Moving on to our new entry in our D-Day collection, we have a new release of our C-47 Skytrain tooling. This time reproducing an aircraft that will soon be returning to the skies to commemorate the impending 80th anniversary of Operation Overlord next year. We've worked closely with the team at the Night Fright Restoration Project to make this release as authentic as possible, including brand new tool parts to reproduce the heavy duty equipment para racks on the lower fuselage. This model will be in stock very soon in early May. We're launching our new War in the Pacific collection with the next release of our ever popular P-38 Lightning tooling. This highly colourful release replicates the P-38L, named Pup Pup Maru, as flown by fighter ace James McDonald in the later stages of the war. Jumping ahead to the modern era, we have a pair of 148 scale releases to announce, starting with the second release of our new Eurofighter Typhoon FGR-4 in a warbird scheme that operated during Operation Elemy in Libya during 2011. This model includes a full and accurate ordnance load, but be aware that this is an early pre-production model that is subject to revision. We're not touching the cockpit though, as that's perfect on this one. And I'm delighted to finally open pre-orders for our new tool BAE Harrier 2. This first livery replicates a famous airframe that operated during Operation Herrick in Afghanistan and features a fully loaded ordnance load. You can expect updates soon in Diecast Diaries as we receive further samples of the model. Moving on to Vanguards, we have four new releases to announce, starting with two generations of police vehicles produced by Ford that really couldn't be more different. Firstly, the next release of our new Ford Cortina Mark V tooling replicates a patrol car operated by Essex Police back in the 1970s. Pre-orders are now open on the second release of our Ford Ranger Raptor tooling, with this police demonstrator vehicle that was prepared by Ford's special vehicle preparation team in Essex. This model is an early decoration sample subject to revision. It's also worth showing off the pre-production samples of our already announced Ford Ranger Raptor in full performance blue and our Ford Transit Custom in orange glow. Both of these were announced in January, but we've never shown either of these models before. These tools are the longest and largest Vanguard models that we've ever made, and both are seriously heavy in the hand. Moving on to something much smaller, but no less important in terms of motoring history, we're saluting the 75th anniversary of the Morris Minor with a brand new release. This unusual Snowberry White model was selected as it is as close as Platinum as we could actually get. And last but not least, we've got our first release of a Triumph TR6 hardtop from our recent new tooling in a very striking Mimosa Yellow. Moving on to gifting products, I'm delighted to be able to debut some brand new products from some new entertainment licenses. First off, pre-orders are now open for our brand new tool of the modified Triumph Trophy TR6 as seen in The Great Escape. Probably the most famous motorcycle to ever appear on the big screen, we LiDAR scan the original screen used motorcycle to create this model. Make sure to get your order in sharpish, as the first run of this will be a limited edition featuring an, an as seen on screen weathered finish. This is the engineering sample of the model, and we're soon expecting our first painted sample. The model will be in premium collector packaging that will sit nicely alongside our existing James Bond Triumph Scrambler 1200 release. Next up, we have the first releases from our new partnership with Ardman. We've retooled the classic Vanguard's Austin A35 van to produce a collection of new models that feature in Wallace and Gromit's adventures. Leading the range is a model that was exclusively designed for us by the cracking creative team at Ardman, the Austin A35 Cheese Please delivery van, allowing Wallace and Gromit to spread their love of cheese to their wider community with a brand new delivery service. 
We're also releasing a collect triple pack that brings together some of Wallace's brilliant business ideas into a single set. The selection of Austin A35 vans includes our exclusive Cheese Please van, the top bun delivery van as seen in a matter of loaf and death, and the Spick and Spam mobile from the big fix up AR game. These are all going to be wrapped up in premium collector packaging. This is just the start of our Wallace and Gromit range, and I'll have more new products to reveal later on in the year. Moving on, we have a new release in our range of Coca Cola products with this retro inspired Volkswagen Beetle in a very distinctive livery. Following on from our solo World of Tanks model releases a couple of years ago, I'm pleased to introduce a pair of new releases into the range with our new Versus collections, featuring a pair of tanks from opposing sides with themed liveries. One pack sees a winter themed T 34 and Panther tank face off, and the other features a desert themed Sherman and King Tiger tank. Both packs also include a downloadable content code for use on the PC version of the game for both new and existing players of the game. And staying with armour, our Military Legends range expands with a new release of the most famous tank in the world, Tiger 131. This model release has been produced in association and collaboration with the Tank Museum at Bovington, where Tiger 131 resides and operates during the year. Also, don't forget to get your pre-orders in for our 176 scale commemorative bus celebrating the coronation of King Charles III. This is the final box product that is imminently due into stock. And finally for this range announcement, I'm very excited to reveal the return of classic Corby toys to our main range. These are brand new tools of classic products from decades past, featuring all of the movable features and the retro packaging that you may remember. We've made some fun tweaks to increase collectability on these, including amending the packaging to feature the accurate livery of the car inside the box. And, in the case of this Ford Mustang Fastback, we've reproduced a rare black and gold test colour that never went into wide production. These are planned to be just the start of a new range of these models, and yes, I've definitely heard your requests about some of the models you'd like to see us reproduce, so watch this space. That's it for this range announcement. Make sure to keep up with the Diecast Diaries blog every two weeks for updates on all of these releases and the latest developments on our other previously announced new tool models that will be coming throughout the year. I'll be back in early September for another round of pre-order announcements, including some long-awaited Aviation Archive models and our new heavy metal bands and Star Trek licenses. Thank you very much for watching.